Hello, just want to go over the settings that I'm using to mine Ravencoin on the RTX 2060 GPUs. Uh, for the settings, very simple. I'm using an offset of 130 for the core, minus 1003 for the memory clock, fan speed set really high, 72%, and a power limit of 125. With these settings, I'm able to achieve anywhere from about 16.5 to 18 mega hash, depending on your GPU memory type. Uh, for these two up top here, we have Samsung memory, so we are getting a higher a hash rate. Uh, for the bottom GPU, that is Hynix memory, and the Hynix memory from my testing does get a slightly lower hash rate due to the higher power consumption for the Hynix memory chips compared to Samsung, or that's what I'm uh, speculating anyways here. Looking in G minor, you can see the hash rates live. We do have 17, 17.8 and 17.41 uh, mega hash. So overall, these settings are pretty consistent, anywhere from 17 to the high 17s in hash rate there. Power draw, you are looking at about 125 in software. When I used the kilowatt meter at the wall, we were looking at about 425 watts for the entire rig. So you can quickly do some math there. That's about 140 to 145 watts at the wall per GPU. Now, in terms of profitability, as of today, uh, middle of August 2021, Ravencoin is currently very profitable. We're looking at $2.60 in daily revenue. And after your electric costs, which of course are important to calculate, I'm doing about 12 and a half cents per kilowatt hour delivered to the door. That's my cost. Uh, you're looking at about $2.20 profit. So overall, Ravencoin is very profitable to mine on the 2060 GPUs. Uh, you can see here quickly the network difficulty has been going up on the Ravencoin network, uh, but so has the price, so the profitability is still very good there. But overall, just wanted to sh quickly share with you the settings for Ravencoin. Again, core offset, 130, memory clock, minus 1003. Uh, I got my fans really cranked up there just because it does run a lot hotter than ETHash and of course the power limit set to about 125. If you have any settings that you would suggest, you can definitely leave them in the comment section below. As well, if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, yeah, good luck mining Ravencoin.